everybody. Welcome back to Train Talks. I'm not joined by Cameron Shearer, but um, today's discussion is on... Well, today's really... It's not a discussion, but today's talk is on King Edward I overhaul. So um, it's recently had its smoke box attached to the boiler and progress is looking all right. Um, I reckon it will be probably done by about 2022, 2023. Obviously, the Kings are really special locomotives since they were the main top link express engines on the Great Western Railway. Um, and obviously, they were quite unique. And the Great Western Railway were quite unique with their locomotives because they didn't have any Pacifics on their line. They only ran 460s, 440s, etc., like 260s. They didn't actually have a Pacific, like a large, large express engine. So the Kings were actually quite impressive locomotives. But... Obviously, there's only one actually technically running, which is King Edward II at the Didcot Railway Centre, since George V is at the National Railway Museum and is static. I think it does run demonstration trains, but um, I'm not too sure on that. I might have to double check that. But anyway, that's why I think it'd be quite important to get another one in, in service. But I'm not sure everyone will agree with me. Um, obviously... A lot of locomotives are on the Heritage Railway circuit, around 125, and that's excluding industrial locomotives and narrow gauge engines, so like engines at the Welsh Highland Railway. So um, obviously some people think there won't be enough space, and obviously with new projects coming out, like the new Saint, the Prince of Wales P2, which I mentioned in the last discussion about Union of South Africa, um, maybe there won't be enough room for another engine to enter service again. But I'm not too sure about that. I think that it's nice to have um, a little bit of a variety. Obviously, the West Somerset line are quite proud on Great Western locomotives. So um, obviously that's quite a big thing. But um, obviously, I think the Kings are quite nice locomotives since they're quite large. And they do, they're do they just really nice locomotives to look at, I think. Tell me what you guys think in the comments. Do you think the king? Do you think King Edward the First should re-enter service? Yes or no? Tell me in the comments below, and I'll see you all on the next episode of Train Talks. Bye for now.